Hello and welcome to today's training. Today I'm going to give you a super high level overview of how you can best utilize the platform. Keep in mind, we are going to be taking a look at a test account. So what you see here may look a little different from what you see when you log in. All right, let's get started. The first thing that you're going to be prompted to view when you log in is the task center. The task center is going to be the landing page for the platform. Um, and the task center is basically just a task tracker. This is going to let you know whether or not you have any sort of pending action items, as well as if any of your employees have any sort of pending action items, whether it require your signature, your acknowledgement or your approval. They'll all populate here. At the very top, you will have anything that pertains directly to yourself. And then directly below that will be anything that pertains to any of your employees. The next thing that I'd like to show you is the request center. The request center is going to be your one stop shop for getting in contact with your HR manager. Now there's going to be a really long list of things that you can choose from here, different um, options and issues that you may be dealing with as an employer. Feel free just to either search or scroll through the long list of options that we have to find what best suits your needs. There's also going to be this button in the upper right hand corner. This will have a photo of your HR manager as well as their name. When you select that, a pop-up will uh, populate and there's going to be a button where you can select uh, the schedule call option. When you select that, two options will populate. Now, you can always get in contact with our customer support line that we have here by selecting this first option. However, HR guidance, the second option, is gonna be a way in which you can schedule time to meet directly with your HR manager. When you select this, two other options will populate. There is an 844 number, which is for emergency uh, issues that you may be dealing with. So this is our emergency support line that you can utilize. And you can also schedule a call directly on your HR manager's calendar, should you need to. Conversations is actually going to be another way in which you can reach out to your HR manager. It's just going to be a slightly different format. The most important aspect about conversations is that this is going to be one of the only ways in which your employees can get in contact with your HR manager. The reason as to why we have this set up is to eliminate the they said, they said instances that can occur with having verbal conversations. So we want to make sure that we're communicating through documented channels only. And this is that route. The next thing that I'd like to show you is this HR policy tab. Now, if you request a policy, basically it will populate here and this is where all of your policies will populate. There is going to be a timeline. Policies do take some time to create, so this will keep you fully aligned with where it is in the creation. I do want to mention that we will never send anything out to your employees without your approval. Once you give us the okay, then we'll send it out for signature um, and your employees will be able to sign from there. Next up, we have the staff tab. The staff tab is going to be where all of your employee information lives. There is gonna be a search bar that you can utilize if you're, if you're looking for somebody specific. And then you can also add staff directly through here as well. There's going to be two buttons. One button is going to be an individual level and the second button is going to be from a mass upload standpoint. We also have this bulk message feature, which is basically just a way in which you can send out mass messaging to your employees. You can message your entire company or you can message those who haven't logged in and those who haven't signed policies just to give them that quick reminder that they need to do so to ensure compliance. Let's now take a look at an individual employee file. When you select an individual's name, their employee file will populate. There are going to be several tabs that you'll be able to navigate through. The first tab that you're going to see is the to do's, which is basically a individual task center for that specific employee. The next tab is going to be the folder, which is basically just going to be a space where you can store any and all documents that you may need to. Any signed documents from the Bambi platform will also live here as well. Note is not going to be visible to the employee, but it's going to be a space where you can store all of that sensitive documentation that you may not want the employee to have access to view. Profile and settings is going to be just super basic information that we ask during the onboarding process. And then settings is going to be any emergency contact information that you may wish to store here. Let's say you'd like to begin a corrective action on an employee. You can do so by selecting this purple button, begin corrective action, and all of the options will populate that you can choose from based off of the situation that you may be dealing with with that specific individual. Let's say you have an employee that has resigned or that may need to be terminated. You can also select that via the employee file as well with this red begin resignation slash termination button. Next up, we have report cards. Now, report cards are exactly what it sounds like. It's a performance 
performance tracking system that you can use. I'll show you what it looks like. It's going to be a three point grading system. It's extremely user friendly. You can provide feedback on whether they need improvement, whether they've been doing a great job or whether they've been going above and beyond. You can provide just a couple sentences for feedback that the employee will have access to view. And you can also leave a private note, which is maybe that more sensitive feedback that you may not want them to have direct insight to. On the flip side, we have a feature called Employee Voices, which is basically just a modern comment box. This is going to be a space where your employees will be able to reach out and express if they're dealing with any issues within their work life. They can raise that red flag and say, hey, I'm dealing with a specific issue, uh, whether it be personally or with another individual within this workspace. Last but not least, we have the cabinet. The cabinet is going to be a space basically where you can store any and all documentation for your business. It's like a traditional filing cabinet, but just digital. To add a file, you can do so by selecting this button right here. The one thing that I do wanna mention though is that anything that Bambi creates for you will actually automatically be stored here for your review at any time. So keep that in mind. And that in a nutshell is the Bambi platform. Thank you so much for your time and we're looking forward to you joining with the Bambi family.